What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into uh, Impressive. Shout out to Impressive. Uh, Young Miami sold her soul to Diddy. J-Lo assisted Diddy with a crime. Daphne Joy exposes 50 Cent. Girl, that's a mess. Let's get it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive channel. Diddy has been some serious hot news in the media lately ever since his homes were raided by Homeland Security. <clears throat> now, he is under investigation for allegedly running a ring, and his alleged crimes are being compared to Jeffrey Epstein. People That's believe crazy. that Diddy is the Jeffrey Epstein of hip-hop. Now, there were several lawsuits filed against Diddy that actually led to him being raided, not just Cassie's lawsuit, but several others which accused Diddy of sexual misconduct and... Y'all know another thing. I'm sorry to cut this off, but oh, and first of all, I have to react to this video. So if you want to actually go watch the video, go watch the video. It's unimpressive. Anyway, so with this happening, like, I don't know if y'all know about the um quiet on the set, uh, with uh Dan Schneider. Bro, that situation is crazy, okay. And basically, um, a lot of black men are saying that um, we're taking a black man down, but not the other side. And my thing is, they take they self down. <laughs> Didn't nobody tell them to do none of this dumb shit. That's what they decided to do. So here we are. You know what I'm saying? I don't be understanding that. And Diddy's former producer, Rodney Jones, a.k.a. Lil Rod, accused Diddy of a slew of things. And the feds have been investigating Diddy for a while. They've done interviews. They've heard all the accusations and it's given them reason to investigate Diddy. So this is a very serious thing. They raided his home, grabbed his security footage, seized his electronics, and they're also issuing subpoenas to multiple companies mm. that are dealing with Diddy. So it's getting deep. But so y'all don't know what's going to happen with they're them. doing all of that because they want the companies to snitch, basically. And that'll stop his bag all of this i mean diddy has not been charged or arrested as of yet some people believe that maybe he got raided because they're trying to suppress evidence that will incriminate other high profile people that too and they're also trying to get him get everybody around him to snitch on him versus getting anything from him because he ain't got nothing on him that's a whole nother conspiracy. But Diddy was stopped at a Miami airport and somebody in his entourage got arrested. And his name is Brendan Paul. And in Little Rod's lawsuit, he claimed that Brendan Paul was Diddy's drug mule. And he was responsible for getting illegal drugs and guns for Diddy. And Diddy apparently has a bad drug problem. Cassie actually highlighted it in her lawsuit. And his drug of choice is Tucci, which is also called pink cocaine. What? I didn't even know that was a thing. Now, Little Rod and his lawyer did amend his lawsuit and he added new information. And before I get into it, I just want to say all of this stuff is alleged. We don't know. And um, well, Rod, Rod claimed that he has photos and recordings. I hope he do. Because all the people he's talking about is like, hey, yo. <laughs> oh if these allegations are true or not. But a lot of people believe some of the things in the lawsuit. Now, he did bring up Young Miami, and he said that Young Miami hopped on the jet to deliver Tucci to Diddy. It said this, Brendan and Christina Coram brought drugs. <laughs> Plaintiff and the Combs Rico Emprise were rehearsing for something in the Water Festival in Virginia. Plaintiff Jones personally witnessed Mr. Combs do a few lines of coke in his dressing room. Defendant Sean Combs wanted Tucci, but Brendan forgot it. So defendant Christina Coram called Young Miami, who then brought it on a private jet from Miami. Now it's crazy that Young Why he couldn't get away from where he was at? I don't understand that. Young Miami is being implicated like this in the lawsuit, and it comes to show you that she really sold out. She really sold her soul to Diddy big time, if all of this is true. She wasn't only accused of transferring dope, but she was also accused of doing dope. It was said in the lawsuit that Little Rod witnessed her do coke with Diddy. Not only that, it was said that Young Miami was pretty much a high-paid escort for Diddy. So this whole time we thought that she was... Do y'all believe that? Let me know what y'all believe. <laughs> One of Diddy's girlfriends, but no. 
she wasn't his girlfriend. She was, well, I'm gonna say it in her words, not mine. It would have W, like I'm a whore. But define that though. Like I'm a whore. This was what was said in the lawsuit. According to Plaintiff Jones, defendant Sean Combs bragged about having several women on a monthly stipend. According to Plaintiff Jones, the women who received these payments are Carisha Romika Brownlee, AKA Young Miami, Jade Ramy, AKA Jade, and Daphne Joy Cervantes Narvaez. I don't know if I'm saying that right. AKA Daphne Joy, who were paid a monthly fee to My work bad, as Mr. Combs workers based on information and belief they receive payment via wire transfer from robin greenhill so the money that was supposed to be used for diddy's business and record label was used to fund other illegal activity and i ain't gonna lie y'all i'm not being funny why do we care about him sniffing coke i don't understand i thought this was deeper than that why do we care about the coke and Robin so Greenhill and the head of UMG, Sir Lucian Grange, are implicated in this lawsuit and accused of transferring money to Diddy for illegal purposes. Now, once again, this is all alleged, okay? So I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying that it's not true, but it definitely has to be proven in court. But it is a little messed up that young my Diddy don't be like, <laughs> nothing. He don't got a twitch to him. He do act crazy sometimes, but maybe that's why he on that Tucci. It ain't stepped on. <laughs> Amy is being implicated in all of this, but she was proud to be behind Diddy. And she was down with some of the shenanigans as long as she got paid and got her expensive bags. She was all right. She was going to do whatever Diddy wanted. She would even let him piss on her. It say take a shot if you like go to showers. I do. You can pee on me in the shower. You can pee on me like once you come in. Like, it just depends. And she even proudly boasted about Diddy making girls do acts. I mean, when Young Miami was taunting Diddy's other girl, Gina V, she pretty much incriminated Diddy and said, if I wanted you to eat my pee, Diddy would have had you on your knees. Oh, you. I could not find that tweet, but I remember it. An eater. Gina, you've Crazy. been down bad ever since I came into the picture. Oh, you've been crying for a She definitely snitched on him baby for 10 years you've been around as a b that eat p and d when he feel like it you a eater you the same b that was crying on tasha k because you wanted a baby poor sushi look at these tweets yeah my damn your mind and i snitch i mean it's pretty much saying that diddy made gina do things on command and we don't even know if she consented to any of this it's kind of like with the whole cassie situation when diddy wanted freak offs he demanded that Cassie participated or she would face repercussions. It's really sick and twisted. And young Miami really messed up. I mean, was it really worth it? I know she has to be thinking, man, none of this was worth it. But this is what happens when you sell your soul and compromise yourself and throw away your morals and values just to chase a bag. If young Miami really wanted to be a kept woman, she could have found herself a normal sugar daddy, but no. She wanted to chase behind Diddy's crazy self and act bad. And now look what's happening to her. Her reputation is going bad. And everything she gained from being with Diddy, she's about to lose. It's a sad situation and I hate to see it happen to young Miami, but she should have made better choices and hopefully she turns her life around before it's too late. Now, I also want to bring up Daphne Joy being listed as one of Diddy's sex workers because if you don't She is upset. Oh no, Daphne is actually 50 Cent's baby mama. And this is one of the main reasons why 50 doesn't like Diddy now. He has other reasons, but I think one of the main reasons is the fact that Diddy was messing around with his baby mama. And this was 50's reaction when he read that she allegedly was one of Diddy's paid escorts. He said, I didn't know you was a sex worker. You little sex worker lol <laughs> yo this is a movie 50 cent was joking about it but i know he was fuming because now he's trying to seek full custody of their son sire and he could be doing he's it so out cute. of spite and also to avoid paying any more money and child support after finding out that she's allegedly getting paid a bunch of money from diddy a month yeah, he definitely doesn't feel like he should be paying her child support. <laughs> now, Daphne did respond to 50 and she accused 50 of something pretty outrageous. She first denied being a sex 
worker. She said, I'm deeply hurt by the lies in Rodney Jones lawsuit. The claim that I am a sex worker is 100% false and character assassination. I am retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. She also said this about 50. Curtis oh James God. Jackson. Everything is a joke to you until our safety is compromised, which is happening now. You are wrecking real havoc, frenzy, and chaos onto people's lives. How would you feel if Sire was the one in handcuffs for nothing? Okay. We moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be. I will he say he make everything a joke. And until something get real on his ass, then he get quiet and shit. Your father to your son. And like when he hit that person in the, in the face at his um, concert, he got quiet about that. You saw him 10 times out of the two years that we lived a mile away from you. I am tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never earned. Let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of R and me and physically abusing me. You are no longer my oppressor and my God will handle you from this point on. You have permanently damaged the last hope I had. She need to go ahead and sue him then if that's the case. I mean, what the f had for you as a father to preserve our family with these last and final false claims made against me you have broken our hearts for the last and final time who so these women be going through it so this right here is pretty heavy now do you believe these allegations from daphne i will say this i don't fully believe that she wasn't getting paid to have sex with diddy she probably wasn't getting pimped out like cassie was but I do kind of believe that she was compensated to sleep with him and participate in other things that he liked, just like Young Miami did. And as far as the allegations against 50 are concerned, I honestly wouldn't dismiss it. Now, I don't know about him aring her. He did actually come out and deny that. But I can believe that he put his hands on her. He was in a DV. Definitely put his hands on her. I think all of them be Ike and these Tinas. For real. Incident with Daphne back in 2013. All and of them. he took a plea deal to get his DV charge dismissed. So 50's closet isn't clean. And I do find it interesting that he's going so hard at Diddy. And he's even bringing up Jay-Z as well. Because a lot of people believe that Jay-Z is in cahoots with Diddy. And he's going to be the next one to be exposed. Which is probably true. But still 50 The next one going to be 50 Cent. He keep talking. But I'm going to let y'all know right now. This On this very day. He was on that Tucci. He was on that. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> on this very day, Diddy was on that Tucci. Like, hold on, y'all. I, I got to make a reel. Of course, y'all knew that. Hold on. So they say... P. Diddy like that Tucci, that pink booger sugar. He looked like he was on it that day. Because I'm not going to lie, y'all. P. Diddy don't have a twitch. He don't have like a, he don't like, be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but he do have a moment where he get a little crazy. But these eyes right here. History isn't exactly and how he, <laughs> Wait, how he was talking that day. A lot of people believe that Jay-Z is Look his eyes. Boots with Diddy, Look his eyes. and he's going to be the next one to be exposed, which is probably true, but still. That was like fresh off the Tucci. You know what I'm saying? Fresh off the Tucci, y'all. <laughs> still, 50's history isn't crazy. exactly clean, so him throwing stones from a glass house is crazy. But this was 50's response to his baby mama. He said, it is what it is. See you in family court, sex worker. You moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now, here we are, little sex worker. Oh, my God. Chow. 50 has no chill. He has he no don't. chill. Like, why is he like this? I don't want to laugh because it's not funny, but still, he just has no chill. <laughs> But These niggas waste more money in court than they do anything else. Probably needs to be careful because he does have real enemies in the industry and people could definitely put the battery in Daphne's pack to take him down. Yep. But anyway, back to Diddy. Another one of Diddy's victims, Natanya Rubin, came out and did an interview with News Nation. If you don't know who Natanya Rubin is, she was one of the victims from the club shooting that happened in the 90s. In 1999, Diddy pulled out a gun and pow powed her in the face. Mm. And what's crazy is Diddy's girlfriend at the time, Jennifer Lopez, was the one who passed him the gun.
allegedly. Oh, and this hell was no. actually mentioned in Rodney's lawsuit. Rodney claimed that Diddy was dangerous and he would brag about his gun collection and brag about getting away with shooting people. And the lawsuit said, according to Mr. Jones, Mr. Combs shared that he was responsible for the shooting in the nightclub in New York City with rapper Shine. According to Mr. Jones, he shared that the artist, Mr. Combs' girlfriend at the time, Jennifer Lopez, AKA J-Lo, carried the firearm into the club for him and passed him the gun after he got into an altercation with another individual. Diddy's victim, Natanya, has spoken out about this and she confirmed that Diddy was the one who pow powed her in the face. I am the woman who he shot in the face. I watched him fire the gun. I've said it all this time. They all knew he did it. Everybody knew he did it, but he paid off the club bouncer named Sharice and Damn. all these other people and the club owners with their video to hide the video. That's his MO. Yeah, and you have said since really right after the shooting that it was P. Diddy who shot you. Um, I mean, I think you even said it to, to the doctor that night, right? I said it immediately. I literally watched them pull out the guns. I've had a clear point of view. I mean, for God's sake, I got shot in my nose. I was facing them directly. The I watched nose. everything occur and have described it, That's you know, vehemently to all parties involved. Like to get hit in the nose is painful. To get shot in the nose? Oh. I have nine bullet fragments with my, remaining in my face. Would oh. you like to see the investigation involving you getting shot at that club be reopened? Absolutely, absolutely. The irony is there was a grand jury. J-Lo testified at the grand jury, as did many other people. It needs to be reopened because if that is in fact the case, she carried the gun in and she lied to the grand jury. It means damn. So they implicate J Lo too for real. To be real. What? So now Jennifer Lopez can possibly be implicated. Oh because my god. She allegedly passed a gun to Diddy. But Rod <laughs> I know that's why y'all be like, why we don't react to other stuff, girl? This algorithm. I'm gonna try my best to just give y'all everything. I just need to create a video like this so I don't have to, um, you know, deal with. Copyrights. And he said in his lawsuit that Diddy would make people in his circle carry his weapons to kind of demonstrate how dangerous he is. So maybe Jennifer carried it out of fear, but if it's true that she passed the gun to Diddy and if it's true that she lied on Stan about Natanya being shot by Diddy, it might backfire for her in the future if this case were to reopen. That's A lot of crazy. people lied to cover for Diddy and the rapper Shine took the fall for Diddy. So that's it's really crazy. messed up. Diddy has been getting away with evil for a long time, and now he has to pay for his crime. And he always looked like he's just not evil. That's the part I hate. You know what they talk about, um, like the celebrity eyes or like a killer's eyes, if they have the eyes of a liar or the eyes of like a killer. Do y'all think he has those eyes? Let me know what y'all think. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. That's crazy. Let me know if y'all want me to watch more of these. I'm going to have to learn to put my videos together um, because, well, I actually have somebody that can, I have several people that can do it, but um, let me know. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.